We are Luca and Sara. For the past three years, we have been traveling America with our old truck camper. We thought we found the perfect spot for our self quarantine, but things got a little more intense in Argentina for overlanders. <laughs> Okay. Estamos desalojando el lugar. ¿Dónde podemos estar? Básicamente fuera de los límites de tienen que retirarse de esta zona. Buenas tardes. ¿Hace, cuan, ¿hace cuánto que están en Argentina? Argentina dos meses. Dos meses. Ah. Sí, no, no somos de lejos de Italia de mucho no, tiempo. No, no, está bien. Básicamente nosotros son las cuatro menos diez. Nosotros cinco y media vamos a pasar de vuelta por acá y ya no tiene que haber absolutamente nadie en la playa. La otra alternativa que sí. tienen es acampar fuera de los límites, ¿sí? En lo que se llama ruta uno. ¿Y sabes si hay señal como eh, Movistar? Se... Señal ahí no, no hay. Ok, this will not be the place where we will stay. Se puede? No, no. Ok, guys, the situation is getting worse. The police uh, just came and invited us to leave. We thought that this was the perfect location to be isolated, to stay away from infected people and not be a possible problem for other people. But this is a natural reserve and they just did a new decree this morning in Argentina saying that it's not possible to stay inside natural reserves. So this is a natural reserve and we cannot stay here. This doesn't make much sense to me because if the if the point is to be isolated and to be in a sort of quarantine people can stay home people need to stay home and we need to stay in Lucky Liu or we need to stay in the middle of nowhere in nature because we don't have access to shower every time we want we don't have access to electricity we don't have access to all the food we want so this was like a perfect spot and we are not annoying anyone but you know the law is the law and what can we do we are strangers we are foreigners in someone else's country we are guests here so we need to follow the rules even if i think that if we are moving we are putting someone else in danger we we ask where should we go ah there is a road where probably you can stay and say but are we able to buy something to eat then um, because this degree will last until the 31st of March, but I say probably could be longer. And you know, the fridge now is turned off because we don't have enough propane. There is no other place. If we go on the road, they will escort us out of the city and put us in quarantine, probably in the middle of nowhere. We wanted to have Wi-Fi to be able to upload videos and to do and to continue our job and to be in touch with our families that are in Italy. They are living a really terrible situation like all the world right now. So I understand everything, but I think this... This will be difficult guys. Just this morning we were starting to say yeah, we are happy, we found a perfect spot. We felt for one second safe and in the right spot. But what can we do? Complaining is not in the loose vocabulary. We need to go ahead. I just hope that we will find a, a good location, a good enough that we we can shower we can find water because in this little town here we had water but then now if we need to stay in the middle of nowhere here we had the service so we can communicate with the rest of the world let's see guys let's see we will figure it out Sara we always figure something out uh, I think worst case scenario we will mm -hmm. call the Italian embassy in Buenos Aires uh, and uh, ask them to how we can get back to Italy. This is the worst, uh, the, the, the worst scenario because uh, we need uh, a place uh, where we can have uh, phone connection or internet connection because we, we have to stay in contact with our families. We need water, we need uh, so basic 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 needs, ba yeah. basic needs. if we cannot if they cannot uh, provide us a place where we can stay with that kind of situation the only like 
We or, have to go get out of here. Yeah, or they invited us to to go uh, to another t- city. This is a city called Vietma, and we say we don't want to stay in big cities. We don't want to stay in touch with with humans. This is the main problem: the 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 connection with other people. So why are you inviting to go? in a city where probably the police will stop us again and and escorting us somewhere else and then the police just it's it's crazy it's crazy i know that nobody is prepared for this but at the same time you know leaving this outside your country is even worse because as we said like we don't have a proper common home but we will find a solution. We will figure it out, as Luca said. We are ready to leave this beautiful spot on the beach, Punta Perdices, the place that we thought uh, would be our home for a while. Now it's time to leave. We need to leave. We have to leave. Uh, we have to move. Uh, we it don't. Was perfect. Here was perfect. We don't know where where we can go. We will figure it out. Uh, but uh, now it's time to go. Yeah, I think they will stop us anyways. Here was... Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, see you later. How many times have I fallen for you? Every promise you never deliver. All the words that you said Had me mixing the sweet with the bitter But I know what you're saying No need, no explaining You're making me shake and shiver You're shining your shoes But hey, I got news I ain't falling for all of that glitter This time As ready as I can be This time guys we arrived in town probably you recognize this mercadito this small supermarket we are here with other people other travelers they, they and, need to leave and, that place and they are from Argentina so yeah. even uh, the Argentinian ones they are kick them out of this not only of the natural reserve but also of, of this, uh, this uh, district. District, district i don't know district. how if we leave this town that is the only one with this small supermarket then we cannot go back and at <laughs> least here they have wi-fi they have food they have water if we get out of here it will be nothing like uh, just beach but we, we will not have water we will not have phone signal or wi-fi so it's terrible guys it's really we don't want to overreact we don't want to panic because we know that everything in, we will find a solution everything but can think... be solved but at the same time uh, we will try to stay here if the police come again uh, we will try to talk with them uh, explain them the situation and see what uh, what will happen because because we will follow whatever they will ask us to do if this make makes sense but the police should help you in this case. You cannot receive just, okay, you should exit this place, but you cannot stay anywhere. So how, we don't have a home They where... have to give you some solutions, yes. you know? It's not like, uh, okay, get out of here, and uh, then uh, you just and... go in another province. Uh, so it's the other province uh, problem, you know, to and solve. And campground, uh, hostel, hotels. Airbnb restaurants they are closed so everything is closed uh, and uh, they give uh, a fine uh, to them if they have some guests uh, uh, tourist guests uh, like from yeah. over if they accept reservation from from tourists they will get a fine they give a fine also to us yes if we disobey uh, we don't know what we disobey <laughs> actually the, 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 if we don't follow the rules and what they ask us to do so we will do that but at the same time if they ask us they're just going on a yeah. beach uh, without water uh, phone signal food. and food and nothing uh, we will say no we will this will be a suicide yes you know? this will be so, a suicide so we are not stupid we are always very well informed as you guys 
probably know if you follow us since and, uh, and the smartest thing to do is not to move is to stay put exactly. but we, and what was what we wanted to do we were there and we would not move uh, but now they are forcing us to, to move, move and to travel and to try and to find another place so and this makes no sense guys because the sense was stay put don't move go on a beach and a natural reserve we were not doing anything not making fires because it's not allowed we no, were following we're, all the rules yes. now what we will have to do <laughs> is uh, something that we didn't want to do because we know that uh, there are things more important uh, to deal with but yeah. we will have to contact the italian embassy in buenos aires that is the only one they have here in argentina and try to figure it out with them what to do there is the embassy and the consulate we will contact them both there is an emergency number also for italians they are traveling um, abroad so but we will just we are not in an emergency case no now yet. that's why it's so, the last uh, thing that we wanted to yeah, do but we wanted they to have just... to deal with really important stuff yeah, exactly. but at the same time uh, if uh, it gets a really hard problem probably it's better to follow what they they will suggest us to do they will tell us to, what to do because uh, yeah we need direction guys we try to do our best with all our hearts Grazie, ciao buon viaje they are living but you know they have a home beside yeah, they, the motor home they, they have a home in buenos aires uh, stress stress guys it's like being in uh, like being responsible being guilty for something that you have Not, no responsibility yes. right now like we are in this together this is uh, something that luca and i we said since the beginning but at least this situation is just chaotic it's, it's really weird guys really strange we'll get through this but we just need to stay strong guys, stick together and think that we will go through this and I, it's hard, as you said, it's hard because every every day something new is coming, every day they, they, they do a new law, a new decree and we are foreigners, you know, so you just need to follow the rules basically and it's okay. Yeah, but at um, the end uh, we, are, we are happy and we are positive because uh, we know that uh, we are here, we are uh, healthy, we are in the super, in, grateful, in, in, yeah. su super grateful. And we're gonna, we're gonna be together, we're gonna be able to hold each other and hug each other and, and we're gonna know that we, that we made it through something that none of us ever expected to see. For now, just hold each other and, and keep that love strong and we'll do that same thing and we'll see you soon. Guys, if we get arrested, you need to come save us. <laughs> you know we will. Man, we love you guys so much. We just can't wait to see you again. Same, too. same guys. We too, guys. Okay, guys, uh, the police is again here. Okay. Let's see what they will tell us today. Telling us to keep keep distance. Okay, está bien.